I didn't think it would actually move like as well as it does. And I didn't think I'd get like as much good use out of it, but I did. 15-year-old Chloe Holmes has been given a new start in life. There's um, some sensors inside there. If you like do that, it moves because it senses the movement. But I don't really know how it works. Chloe lost her fingers as a toddler when she suffered from septicemia after she contracted chickenpox. And before the bionic fingers, she wore this prosthetic hand, which made her school life very difficult. Well, I couldn't really wear it much because obviously it's made of rubber. So, like, when I was writing or something, the ink used to come off on that. It, like, used to print on it and stuff. And then it didn't move, so it, like, quite frustrating. Not a day would go by without, like, tears coming or something because I couldn't really do a lot, if you know what I mean, but... Yeah, people used to like stare when I walked down the corridor and then start shouting out things like not very nice. Chloe's family paid for the £38,000 hand. It's made by Touch Bionics in Scotland. This is the 15-year-old trying it on for the first time in their labs just a few weeks ago. It's, it's lifted our spirits a lot, hasn't Big it? Time. It's, uh, it's amazing what she can actually do with it. And, and whereas we go out as a family and people would stare for the wrong reasons, um, they stare now in amazement. As for Chloe, the next challenge will be going back to school. I think I'll get a lot of like staring and stuff, but I won't mind now because I'll see. I've got this and I really like it and stuff. The summer holidays is now a chance for Chloe to experiment, doing those simple things she never thought would be possible. Sabet Chowdhury, BBC Points West, in Swindon.